there's, there's been a high prevalence of alcohol use disorder in the U.S., even if it's been increasing recently. In fact, it's, the prevalence of alcohol use disorder looks like it's gone up by about 50% in the last 10 years. And just like with other substance use disorders, most people with alcohol use disorders get no treatment. And of those who do get treatment, very few get pharmacotherapy or get medications to treat their alcohol use disorder. So it, it's a, it, it's, it's almost, it's low hanging fruit. We ought to be treating people with this disorder. We have medications that work, that help people. I had a patient recently who uh, had a complication of taking a medication for alcohol use disorder. And he came back and he wanted another injection. And I said to him, well, you know, you had this complication, maybe we should try something else. Or and he said, no, that, that was really working for me. Uh, I, I'd like to take it even though I know I might get that again. And despite that, he wanted uh, the help of this medication. So he really felt like it helped him, um, it helped him not drink. And that was important to him. Alcohol use disorder is very common. In fact, it is more common than all other substance use disorders combined. Alcohol use disorder is often a chronic medical condition and is potentially fatal. Almost 10% of all deaths in the U.S. are related to alcohol, making it the third leading cause of preventable death in the United States. Of those classified as needing treatment for their alcohol use, including people diagnosed in a medical setting, only 8.9% received treatment at a specialty addiction facility in 2018. There are medications for treatment of alcohol use disorder that are not being prescribed. There are a number of reasons for this. Many addiction treatment programs do not have the capacity or capability to treat alcohol use disorder with medication. Additionally, some patients and clinicians do not believe that medication for alcohol use is helpful. Another reason is the myth that taking medication is just trading one addiction for another, and this, unfortunately, may discourage people from ever trying a medication for alcohol use disorder. Only 10% of people with a diagnosed alcohol use disorder are receiving medication. Of that 10%, typically only one prescription is received per person each year. There is no magic bullet for the treatment of alcohol use disorder. It is true that available medications for alcohol use disorder have modest efficacy. Even though this is the case, medical providers should offer medications that are known to have any efficacy to patients with alcohol use disorder. Who should be offered medication? People with alcohol use disorder including 1. Anyone experiencing alcohol cravings 2. Anyone who is currently drinking heavy amounts of alcohol 3. Anyone who is thought to be at risk for returning to heavy drinking What medications can be prescribed for the treatment of alcohol use disorder? There are three FDA-approved medications for the treatment of alcohol use disorder, naltrexone, acamprosate, and disulfiram. There are two additional medications that are not FDA-approved for the treatment of alcohol use disorder, but have shown some efficacy in treatment, topiramate and gabapentin. Naltrexone is typically considered a first-line treatment for alcohol use disorder. Naltrexone can be given as either a daily pill or as a monthly injection. Naltrexone is an opioid antagonist that is used to treat opioid use disorder. For this reason, it cannot be given to people who are taking opioids because it will precipitate withdrawal and prevent opioid effects. Why would the same medication work for alcohol use disorder? Drinking feels pleasurable in part because it increases endogenous opioids in the brain's reward pathway and naltrexone, an opioid antagonist, blocks that pathway. Naltrexone does not block the effects of alcohol, but rather dulls the body's response. There are numerous other pathways through which alcohol affects the brain's reward system. However, naltrexone is unable to treat all of alcohol's effects. Naltrexone should not be given to people with acute hepatitis or liver failure, but it can be given to people with chronic hepatitis and modest elevations of liver enzymes, ALT, AST. The main side effects of naltrexone are nausea and dizziness. Naltrexone, in the tablet formulation, can be prescribed as needed to individuals who may benefit from taking it in anticipation of situations where they may be triggered to drink alcohol. Another medication on the FDA-approved list for alcohol use disorder is acamprosate. 
It is typically dosed at two tablets, three times a day. Acamprosate affects different neurotransmitter systems than naltrexone, including glutamate and GABA, but we don't know exactly how it works. Acamprosate seems to have an effect on protracted withdrawal symptoms and thus may work by suppressing persistent symptoms of withdrawal. Acamprosate is typically more effective in those people who are not currently drinking. Acamprosate cannot be given to people with kidney failure. The main side effect is diarrhea, which tends to resolve. The third medication FDA approved for alcohol use disorder is disulfiram. It has been in use for more than 60 years. The typical disulfiram dose is one tablet per day. If a person taking disulfiram combines it with alcohol, it can lead to accumulation of a byproduct that can make that person feel very sick. The disulfiram alcohol reaction can cause flushing, sweating and nausea. Often, people choose not to drink while taking disulfiram to avoid these side effects. Disulfiram can be harmful to the liver, therefore liver enzymes should be monitored. People who are cognitively impaired should not take disulfiram, nor should people who have severe heart disease. The side effects of disulfiram include drowsiness, metallic taste, and many medication interactions. The effectiveness of topiramate is similar to FDA-approved medications for alcohol use disorder, although it has more side effects. Topiramate works on the GABA and glutamate systems, similar to acamprosate. Topiramate doses need to be titrated up and then can be taken once or twice a day. Contraindications include kidney or liver disease, glaucoma, and anorexia. The main side effects for topiramate are paresthesia, lack of appetite, weight loss, cognitive dysfunction, somnolence, and altered taste. As for gabapentin, the results of clinical trials have been mixed. But a more recent trial found no benefit for alcohol use disorder. In addition to those medications already mentioned, medication treatment for mood disorders in people with alcohol use disorders may have positive effects on alcohol use. In summary, 1. Alcohol use disorder should be treated with all known efficacious treatments including medications. 2. Naltrexone is a first-line treatment for alcohol use disorder unless a patient is on opioids. 3. Great attention should be paid to supporting adherence by frequent patient contact or engaging the patient's support system.